How can you track the cost of goods sold when using Google Merchant campaigns? How can you populate this thing right here? I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site, and if you use our products, this is very simple. So uh, Google has a help page about the topic. And if you go there, you'll find out that you need to track the cost of goods for your products. You need to send the cost of goods to Google Merchant and you need a particular set of data uh, where with your uh, conversion events. And we do all this and the setup is very, very easy. First of all, how can you add the cost of goods to your WooCommerce products? We have a dedicated plugin that does it. The plugin is right here on our website. It's WooCommerce cost of goods. Get this plugin, install it, and then here in WooCommerce settings, you will have the main options. You can add a general cost that will be applied for all your products if there is not uh, there is no uh, dedicated cost of goods, like a, a general rule. And you can also edit each product and uh, add the cost of goods. We have the cost here. It can be a fixed value or a percent. Add it right here and update. Or you can uh, do it in bulk, export a product CSV, add the cost there and import the CSV. Uh, save products before you do this because the operation can change uh, um, important values. So it's better to make a backup. I'm not aware of problems, but it's best to be safe. Okay, so this is how you can easily add the cost of goods using our dedicated plugin. That's step one. Our feed plugin, this one right here, Product Catalog Pro, has an option to send the cost of goods to Google Merchant, enable for a new feed. You should do the same, update. And now next time Google crawls your feed or you can re-upload it in Go inside Google Merchant, it will have the cost of goods. Let's do a quick test. Where is it? On sell. Okay, cost of goods sold. So now we have step two and uh, step three, the data that each conversion event should have is done automatically by Pixel Your Site. You just need to update the plugin. It's something we um, added recently. So make sure you have the most recent version of Pixel Your Site. Make sure that Google Ads tag is installed using our add-on and we will send the required uh, conversion value in order for uh, Google merchant to send the cost of goods and to drag the cost of goods and have it reported inside your uh, Google Ads manager. So that's it. All you need is our cost of goods, commerce cost of goods plugin and the cost configure for your products. Uh, you need to enable the option to send the cost of goods with your Google Merchant feed. And you need to have uh, the latest version of Pixel Your Site Professional just to be sure that we have uh, uh, the data in place. And uh, eventually, Google will start to show you cost of goods with your uh, ads results. That's it. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Like, share, and uh, please subscribe to our channel it will really help us.